so Christmas is over and I'm a bit bummed about that, I don't know about you. Uh, this is actually the first time I've got to, to sit down and film for about a week because obviously it's been Christmas, the kids are off and I actually went back to work almost immediately after Christmas which sucks but I did um, and this is Friday night now and all my Christmas presents have been sitting in a bag waiting for this video so I want to bust them all out so I wanted to film this video for you now. Hopefully if I can get it up and ready quickly it will be up this evening. Fingers crossed because I have lots of videos up, um, up? <laughs> to get up before the end of the year. Um, my December favourites, my end of year favourites, as well as a little bit of a sales haul. But that might have to wait a week because I've ordered some stuff online and I want to get everything. It's going to be a big collective haul because I've also bought some things over the past month. Um, there have been two little purchases really to make a big haul on their own so I thought I'll throw those in as well. Um, and if you do know of any great sales please let me know in the comments because I'm not finished yet even though I'm a little bit skint now. Okay, so I know there's a little bit of a stigma behind this kind of like gift, like what I got for Christmas kind of video. I don't really understand that myself. I love these videos. Obviously at Christmas people give and receive presents. I got some presents. It's not like I'm showing you diamonds or anything. This is just the presents that I received from my family. So this is pretty much everything that I got. Um, we try to do Christmas a little bit smaller now because we used to go really over the top. Um, so we try to kind of think about it more and think more what that person would really want rather than just spend some really obscene amount of money on one particular thing because that's the easy way to do it I think um, and if you're trying to save a little bit of money it is a bit harder to sit and think like I said in my gift guide to actually sit and think about what that person might like um, and get them something smaller but a bit more meaningful and it's not like these are you know special 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 things but it's more stuff that I feel like someone's actually thought about me and thought she would really like that so I thought I'd share what I got for Christmas like I say, I love watching these videos myself and apologies if you're offended, but I really don't see, I don't see the, that behind it. I really don't. But I know that some people think this, this is a little bit of a controversial video. So apologies if you didn't want to see this video, but I'm making it because I think they're awesome. I'm going to start with the beauty type presents. Um, first of all is um, my gift from Laura Loves Beauty, who went totally over the top because I actually didn't know we were exchanging gifts until a few days before she told me that we were. So I went and got her the little Essie nail collection which I love but she bought me the All That Glitters little china glaze glitter set. There was another one here that I actually painted my nails with recently. My nails are bare at the moment because it took me an age to get the glitter off my nails um, but I'm waiting to buy a new top coat to paint them again. This is very unusual for me to have no nail polish on but I really love these. This is kind of a holographic gold. This is amazing, a champagne kind of colour. This is more Halloween to me, or maybe New Year's, and the other one was a red and gold glitter. I love those, and I've never tried China Glaze glitters before, amazingly. <coughs> the other thing she got me, <coughs> I got a frog in my throat, the other thing that she got me was the one that I really wanted from the Chroma set from the Kardashians, um, and this is the Chloe Cardazzle, Cardazzle, that's right. And I really, really wanted this, and I actually, again, haven't used this because I wanted to show it in the video. I still need to take photos of it, um, and I might do a bit of a, a neutral tutorial for the new year. But I, like I say, I'm not going to get a New Year's Eve tutorial now. I just don't think I have time, given that I'm going to end up putting a video up every single day if I do that. So if you really want me to, let me know, but I don't think I'm going to, because I know people get a little bit angry when... I upload too many videos, but I'm really excited about those two gifts, so thank you to Laura. And I'll link her channel below if you haven't already subscribed to her. Um, this, I actually think I might have got for my birthday. My birthday's in February, and uh, my very organised auntie uh, also gave me my birthday present at the same time, and I thought I may as well open it now, it's not like, it's only just going to sit and gather dust for a month. Um, so she got me this, which is a Mandara Spa. Um, little kind of toiletry set, which is really sweet. And another little toiletry set that I got was this Extracts by Boots um, body wash collection which is really nice for travel even if you go for like a couple of nights away or something and I like trying new things I don't like full sizes of stuff sometimes because it takes so long to use them up so little travel sizes I really like um, and one thing that I was really excited about and totally surprised by is my mum bought me this Yes to Tomatoes facial mask and Yes to Carrots little tinted lip balms and I never get anything like this this is so me this is so something that I would be interested in I'd probably purchase for myself so this was one of those things that I felt like she'd maybe thought oh sure Carla will really really like that and um, it just means a little bit more than when someone's gone and spent a real huge amount of money I suppose um, when someone's really had to think about it and spend a little bit less but I absolutely love love face masks so I'm dying to try this it's absolutely killing me I haven't even opened the packaging but this is probably going to be my first face mask Friday on my blog of 2013. I haven't even, I seriously haven't even opened it at all. 
doesn't smell like a lot, but I'm very excited to try it. I might even try it tonight. So that's the Yester Tomatoes facial mask. I think it's pore cleansing or something. Refined pores and purifies. And then these little tinted um, lip balms, lip tint in Coral Sunshine and Ready Red. Um, lastly, in the beauty type arena, I always get some random toiletries from my grandma. Um, and these are they. She gave me Imperial Leather, lovely, and Pure and pure Natural Nivea Hand Cream. So, you know, not mega, mega interesting, but I thought I would mention it because I got it for Christmas. And then I have a huge pile on this side of miscellaneous gifts that are not beauty related. It is kind of unusual for me to get beauty related gifts. I normally get kind of gadgety things or like, you know, playful things. And one of the things that I would normally kind of get is this. And this is probably one of my favourite presents and it was a small present from my brother um, and it says, hello, is it tea you're looking for? And it has <laughs> Guy Ritchie I wanted to say, Lionel Ritchie on the front of it and it says rich tea above his head. I just think it's so cool. So I will be taking this to work, this will be my work mug. Um, and again, something really small but I really like it and because now I've gone back to work, um, it's kind of cool to have your own little mug at work. So something a little bit more thoughtful it kind of means a little bit more maybe. Um, another thing, when I speak to my mum on the phone, she's always writing things down. If I'm saying, you know, can you have the kids on this day? Or shall we do this on this day? She always says, I'll write that down. I'll have this on my calendar. And she's got me this to have in my kitchen so that I can do the same. And it's just a little pad and a pen and it kind of sticks on the wall. Oh, it's magnetic. I didn't even know that. I could stick it on my fridge. Um, I have a little chocolate selection. Wait a minute. Oh, a little chocolate selection. Heroes, interesting. Two bars of green and black chocolate. But most interesting of all, and this was six, but it's now three. These! I mentioned in a vlog, and maybe on a blog post, that I couldn't find Terry's Chocolate Orange Dark anywhere, not anywhere. Nowhere where I live sells this. And so many people tweeted me and messaged me and said, I've got it in my local Tesco, my local Asda, whatever. We do not have it. I don't understand. I've asked everywhere. I've been to every supermarket in the vicinity of our area. I cannot find it. So Lee actually ordered me a six pack on Amazon and I will be repurchasing because I absolutely love it. And apparently you can buy it all year round from there. So that's pretty cool. A little bit more expensive than normal, but it's the only chocolate I really, really like. I'm not a massive sweet tooth, so I really appreciated that. And again, such a small present, but it's like, oh, I really, really wanted that. It's so, it's so silly, but I really did. Um, I got two cookbooks. One of them is Kitchen from my Nigella Lawson, which I'm excited about because I love Nigella Lawson. And the most exciting cookbook is this one. It's the Homemade Sweet Shop. I'm a massive sweet maker, let's say. I like to cook and I like to bake. I'm not a big sweet eater. And I make a lot of cookies and um, baked things, like cupcakes and stuff, but I don't actually eat a lot of them. Um, it's not a dietary thing or anything, it's just that I'll have a little bit of something. That's what I love about the Terry's Chocolate Orange. I've had one Terry's Chocolate Orange on the go since Christmas Day. I'm st I still haven't eaten it. I'll have a little bit here and there where I want it. I took one to work, I gave one to my dad, and I've been eating one a little bit at a time at home. And I'm not someone that's going to sit and eat the whole thing at once. Not, again, because I feel like I shouldn't, but because I just don't need it and I don't want to eat a lot of something. So, although this is very exciting, I'm not going to make fudge or something and eat it all myself. But this is the kind of thing that I love to do. Things that look cute and things that are like really creative, like making your own fudge, for example. I will totally do this. And if I do, I will absolutely make videos on it. But that will go on my vlog channel, which again is linked below. Um, another thing that I got, hang on, things are further away from me than I thought they were. Another thing that I got that I was very excited about and wasn't expecting was the Hammer tripod. I don't even know if this is a particular brand. If anybody has heard of this brand before, I don't know, but this is the best tripod ever. My other one had broken and I was kind of balancing it a little bit and I swear, I can't wait, I'm gonna burn it or something. I may even film myself throwing it across the garden. Some kind of ceremony of getting rid of that tripod will have to be had because I hate that tripod. It was making my life miserable. Every time I went and sat down to film, it would be wonky and it was just, ugh. And it was a cheap tripod, it had lasted me a while, but I don't know what happened to it one of the legs came loose. Um, and this is a really, really nice one. The finish is really nice. Um, it's even got a little spirit level is the one I'm looking for in the side of it. It twists, it's got something where it's like um, a quick release, which is really cool, which sounds like something else. Um, <laughs> a quick release um, where you can take the camera off without having to unscrew things, which I love because I really hated doing that. Um, so if we were, for example, filming for an outfit of the day, then you could quickly take off the camera and take pictures really easily. So I really, really love my new tripod. And again, it's something that 
maybe didn't cost the earth, but I so wanted a new tripod. So it's these things that I've really appreciated. Um, another thing that was a bit of an odd one is a teapot. My mum bought me a teapot for, my mum and dad bought me a teapot for Christmas. Um, I don't have a teapot. I don't know how many times I'm gonna use a teapot, but maybe now I have one, I'm gonna use it a lot, I don't know. But yeah, a teapot, that's lovely. I think this is from House of Fraser, for anybody wondering. It might have been from Linear. Yes, Linear, it was from Linear. So yeah, if you like the look of this teapot, I believe you can still purchase it from Linear. Um, the last thing for my parents is this snuggle blanket, which I think is kind of like a slanket. Would you call it a slanket? It's like a blanket with arms and it's got a little pocket inside. Um, which I haven't opened yet and I can't wait to, so I'm going to be busting this out. This is going to be perfect for when I sit at the computer blogging on a Monday night. Um, that is just like, yes, perfect. Can't wait to open that. And my last Christmas gift is perhaps my most exciting Christmas gift. And that was my iPad mini. And this, I've got to admit, I kind of knew I was getting. Um, I bought Lee an iPad too, as you remember, if you watched my um, gift guide for him. Um, I bought that for him because I thought he was getting me an iPad mini and I thought well what's the point in getting us the same one so I bought him kind of the men's version I like to think of it as we've got his and hers iPads so now we can play iPad games with each other and I absolutely love it I couldn't wait to get a new iPad um, once my laptop broke and I ended up getting a desktop and I haven't done a lot of blogging from my iPad yet but I have converted everything on my calendar and I'm just using it way more than I used the one that I had previously because lots of people have said why do you want an iPad when you had one before when I had an iPad before I also had um, a laptop but it just seemed a little bit daft to have both and I ended up selling it and we then I got uh, a Mac laptop um, and since I've got rid of my Mac laptop because laptop, it broke uh, and got my desktop I've really missed being able to sit down and do something um, and on my phone it's just not the same, so I've just so, so appreciated having something that I can with browse on or do whatever it was that I was going to sit at the computer doing that wasn't kind of work, and this is awesome. So I'm very, very, very happy with that, and that's what Lee bought me for Christmas, as well as the tripod and um, a bunch of other things. But yes, that's what I got for Christmas. If you've done your own video like this, let me know, or if you've got anybody else's video that's particularly good that you think I might not have watched, then let me know as well, because I'm always looking for something to watch in the bath strange as it may seem. That is where I watch my YouTube videos of an evening. But I have had such a fantastic Christmas. I'm sad to be back at work now, but now I'm off again till the 2nd of January. So that's cool. And I'm hoping to make some videos for you for the next week. So if you've got any recommendations or anything that you want, or suggestions, requests is the word I'm looking for, uh, for new videos for the 2012, 2013 year. <laughs> I'm rambling now, um, then let me know and I will maybe put a whole new note section in my new iPad, I'm very excited about it um, and yeah I'm very excited to be starting to film with my tripod and everything's kind of coming to, into place and my lighting and hopefully this video is not too washed out because I'm very close to the light but this was my only option for right now. Um, I'm going to be doing a video as well on the different cameras that I've used because lots of people have requested that and I still have them all. So I feel like I've got um, a good selection of cameras that I could talk about to steer you in the right direction of what point you're at YouTube wise, blogging wise, whatever. So if you want me to do that video let me know and let me know if you want to see that on this channel or on my other channel, probably on my other channel. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be 2013 favourites, but we'll see. And I hope you all have a fabulous new year if you don't watch a video from me between now and then. Um, and you had a fantastic Christmas. And you got everything that you wanted, because I definitely did. Um, so yeah, bye!